Aquarius, welcome to your general overview and energy read that's good for the next several weeks. I hope you're well. I hope you are fabulous. We're going to go ahead and start by pulling you an overview, and then we will build your baseline. What is going on, please, for that Aquarian energy? Oh, oh, oh. Destiny. The tenth for some of you might be terribly important, but destiny. Mm. Meeting life where it is. Taking control of yourself, taking control of your destiny for some of you, sure. Absolutely. I've been seeing some big energy for you lately. Firm foundation. Working on those goals, working on that coin. Heck yeah, let's do it. Show me Aquarius, please. What's going on? Intuition. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Intuition is kicking off, honey. And that's always a good thing. We want our intuition to be apparent, even if it doesn't feel good, but also more to the point, what feels right. We may not always be able to articulate it. We may not always be able to put it into words, but think of your intuition as your internal GPS. Something is guiding you in a particular direction. You know something's hovering. You can feel it. You can feel something coming in. You can feel something exiting. I don't know, but your intuition is here. Also, the second, for any particular reason, might be important to you. That is Piscean energy. does not have to be. But yeah, intuition. And also, in the general sense, uh, the number two might be a power number for some of you. Okay? What's going on? Please, show me that Aquarian energy. Show me that Aquarian energy. Show me, Aquarius, please, what is going on for the Aquarian Collective. Show me Aquarius, please. Show me what I need to see for Aquarius. Let's do one more. Show me Aquarius, please. What's going on for Aquarius? We're going to start with the recent past, but we're not going to stay there too long. Or so I say. Take what does resonate, leave what does not, reverse energies as it applies always. Okay, so I can say things like recent past, it could actually be a reflection of something quite some time ago or something that might have just happened yesterday. I don't know. Nine of Cups, Knights of Swords, the Hermit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, some of you have been feeling this kind of imperative need to kind of get back in touch with who you are, what makes you feel good. Some of you might have recently started taking active strides in terms of, you know what, this, this feels good to me. Okay, Nine of Cups, this is our personal pleasure system. It feels good. It could be love-oriented. You're kind of moving like with that Knight of Swords energy that you can be so very famous for, but it's coming from a place of the Hermit experience. After enough time, it's like, you know what? I understand something is right for me, and I want to start taking action towards it. Aquarius, today is the day, right? That's kind of that energy. You've been thinking about it, the Hermit, not known for being rushed. The Hermit is. Okay. So it can be a long winding process to kind of figure out this is what I want to do, this is what I want to feel, this is how I want to take action towards it. But once he arrives to the conclusion, boom, there goes your knight. <laughs> knight of Swords to the Nine of Cups. There's something in you that suggests I want to get reacquainted with my particular sense of feeling, feeling good specifically about yourself, your particular journey, your own sense of personal happiness. Okay? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. The Empress. Knights of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, something here feels very, very right to you. I mean, feels very right to you. Someone specifically feels very right to you. I cannot tell if they're coming to you or if you're going towards them. I don't know, but it is kind of a glow up type situation. When you put the focus on yourself and what it is that makes you feel good, not in a way that's selfish. If it was selfish, there'd be different cards surrounding this. It's more like, you know what, I've, I've put a lot of thought into me. And where it is I want to take myself, my particular sense of happiness. And this is the direction. Watch me go. And so you did. And when you started doing that, when you started putting that attention and focus and action on yourself, it started to produce results that benefited you externally. And that is what I'm seeing now is the relationship energy that you seem to be terribly excited about. I cannot tell which way the energy is going. It kind of feels like something's approaching you, I must say. It does feel like that. Knight of Wands is dead center reading. Two of the fastest knights, of course. 
dead center energy is always very important to me as a tarot reader. We also have the nine of pentacles. So somebody from acts, who acts from a space of independence and knowing thyself, achievement, this is what I'm able to do. Nine of pentacles simply is one of my top favorite cards in tarot. It has the simplicity of independence, individuation, competency. I know myself. Thank you very much. I'm quite good at what I do. But it's in a relaxed way. And uh, it looks like someone's approaching you. They either see you as the emperor, so this is someone who you perceive as the empress, I don't know, but the energy is positive and it seems to be heading in a particular direction. Let's keep going. The future. Now you've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, very good. Okay. As you continue, I told you there's a timing element here and they're related. That's not incidental. So I don't want you to be discouraged by the Three of Swords. You have to see things from a different point of view. Uh, because you took the time out in your recent past to kind of discover, no matter how slowly, I don't care, so long as you got there, get to where you need to be, honey. I say it all the time. In this process, slow as it might have been, when you were ready to take action, you did. I understand this course of direction is right for me, and I'm seeing that as a reflection in your future, that as you recover from whatever it is that pained you in the past or disappointed you in the past. You, in fact, make new opportunities for yourself. I am seeing more than one thing here, both in love and possibly work output. Congratulations to you. You know, it's looking like it's been slowly headed in that direction in terms of overcoming pain. So whatever this pain is that you associate with the past, the one that you had to recover from, the one that you had to heal from, you're very much on your way. And I think it's a little bit more than even you were expecting in terms of recovery, um, you seem to be lighting up towards someone. And rather succinctly, rather efficiently, very little hesitation here. And it's kind of like you come out the other side saying, well, look at that. This doesn't hurt anymore. When I focused on myself, I did the right thing. Good job. Like, I wasn't expecting all that. I was just trying to heal and, and focus on myself. I wasn't expecting all this. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So congratulations to you. It's looking like you have something here, both in the world of love as well as possibly pentacle that seem to be happening. Uh, at the Aquarius I'm looking at, it's both. It's both. Let's dig in there. I'm going to see stuff. Of course, I'm going to see stuff. But I really like where you're going. It was a slow recovery, but the point is, is that you got there. You know how you got there? You made strides. You didn't sit there and wish and want that you actually did stuff. You went through a period of healing, okay? But it was useful. I understand some things about myself. I'm going to rededicate parts of myself to fresh energy, okay? That says I'm excited and I don't know. I just need, uh, I need to get back in touch with me. It's not about, it's just about me. That's all it is. So how far away that heart pain was, I don't know, but it's kind of like you're surprised that you're coming out the other side with very strong, fresh energy that also looks like there's offers in here. More than one, it's looking like to me. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, show me that Nine of Cups, please. So your intuition is on point. That's always a good thing. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. For Aquarius, what's going on? Okay. Six of Wands. Yeah, it feels good. Seven of Wands. Okay. But you're not going crazy with it. All right. Still being cautious, but still taking action. Cool. I like it. Okay, very good. There's some stuff in you that you might have been resisting in terms of, uh, I'm going to try this. It's one of those things that you might have gotten back to, you know, in that space and energy you can get where you neglect personal goals or sense of feeling, okay, because you're in a place of recovery or you put it off for the sake of someone else. It's looking like you're getting back to that. And it feels really good. Um, the idea is, is that I'm not blocking anymore. I'm taking literal action towards that, which I can feel myself achieving in with the Six of Wands. It's healthy achievement, you know, in terms of being recognized for my efforts. I feel good and I want to feel good. I want to look good and I want people to see it. I put it off for a while, but that, that stopped. I started taking action towards this. So this is very individualized energy, okay? And it's serving you well. It is serving you well. 
So if this was you and it's still currently you, I, excuse me, still currently you, I want you to keep going. I want you to keep going. I know there's stuff in here that you set aside that you got back to under that hermit energy. And I said, you know what, let's, I think it would please me to do this. And it would get me out of my head and it would kind of shake my cups up a little bit and it would help me re get reacquainted with my sense of confidence and sense of self. I agree. I agree. Keep on keeping on. Your Knight of Swords is here twice. Anything else, please, about the Knight of Swords? Anything else, please, for the Knight of Swords? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me that Knight of Swords, please. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles, there it is again. It was a long time coming, the Fool. It was a long time coming that you set off on this particular journey. It was an active decision that you had to make. Again, I'm seeing all positive aspects of something that feels painful, but was kind of long ago and far away. And I'm looking at Aquarius who very recently and is continuing to do so, excuse me, continuing to do so. I'm so sorry. Uh, <coughs> guys, I'm sorry. It's, it's really bad right now. Mm. I live in Central Texas, okay, and <clears throat> right now the humidity is so terribly high, it traps pollen. And uh, if you live in that kind of humidity, you know what I'm talking about, where the pollen sticks to everything. There's not enough uh, precipitation to wash it away, so it just stays stuck there in the atmosphere. And I'm highly allergic to oak <laughs> and cedar, for which Central Texas has both. Thank you for recommending. Um, a local honey? No, it does nothing. It does nothing. I wish it did, guys. That would be a very cheap and <laughs> efficient solution. But unfortunately, no, it's not casual allergies at all. It's a very strong reaction. Okay, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Fool. It's been on your while to open up in this. It's been on your mind for a while to open up in this way to start new journeys. But the thing is, they're not so new, Aquarius. There's some things in here that I know you put off, okay, and you want to get back to them get reacquainted with them and that can still evoke the full energy okay let's see that hermit the hermit for you has done a heck of a job you might have some very strong virgo in your chart show me the hermit please show me the hermit show me the hermit show me the hermit please your hermit has done a heck of a job show me the hermit please The lovers, five of wands, seven of cups, mm -hmm. there's the intuition again. There was some tension here, quite a bit, okay. There was some tension here in regards to a strong connection, one where there was arguing, fighting. Um, that's what it seems like you're recovering from, okay. There was tension here with uh, a lover. Now, in terms of it being a soul bond, I don't know. It could be someone that um, you had a strong connection to, okay, or it felt like that. Perhaps it was, perhaps it wasn't. But there was a struggle here to obtain cups and make them, make them real, make them viable. There was too much confusion about, do I mean something to you or not? That's it. That's it. I'm not getting the whole backstory. I don't really want to. I don't think you do either. I see where you're going. I see what your hermit's been through in terms of getting you here. Your healing has gotten you here to this point to kind of go back to what matters to you and just kind of rediscover you. Which all that matters. Yeah, that's all that matters. Rediscover you. Okay. But yeah, there's, there's too much tension here uh, on what side of the accusation or that particular line somebody is accusing the other person of, um, I don't, I don't mean anything to you, or you don't mean anything to me, and and uh, that's where the recovery is coming from. There's a lot of desire wrapped up in it, okay? But so too was there a great deal of tension, too much confusion around feelings, and there was no resolution about feelings. What do I mean to you? Do you feel something for me? Do I feel something for you? Or the cups were constantly blocked from being developed and taking it outside of the option. Am I just an option to you or what? Like, what the, 
what's going on with my cup with you? Like, what the fuck? I can't find myself in it. I can feel it, but I can't find myself in it. Why can't I discover your cup, right? How come I can't discover, I'm saying, your feelings for me? I don't know. So I don't know where the accusation is coming from. And yours or theirs, I don't know. But I do see that this was probably long overdue. And it caused a lot of unnecessary and kind of lingering heart pain. But if it was indeed a lover and someone whom you do feel like you had a strong bond with, of course it's going to um, take a while. Okay. It's going to take a minute. Are we staying? Yes. Show me the Empress, please. And then uh, there's quite the turnaround here. It's lovely. But it was a long time coming. Okay, it was a long time coming where the energy focuses more on the self. You know, this is what suits me. This is what works for me. Um, you know, this is where my energy is free. And uh, I don't have to worry about this. Show me the Empress, please. 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 Show me this Empress, please. Ten of Pentacles, Strong Foundation, Ace of Wands, Judgment. Mm -hmm. It does feel like it's a matter of time, doesn't it? Um, that you will be called forward into something that is very much yours. I do feel like that's you. I do feel like it's you. The Empress, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Judgment. It's kind of like saying, oh, I know what my worth is. I'm worth a lot, and I can do a lot, and I can achieve a lot, and watch me go. So the Empress, of course, is the highest producing card in tarot. She, th There really is no other higher one. And everybody always thinks it's unconditional love, and she is, and she's very maternal. Yes, she is. She's very protective. And this is someone who's very protective of their home space and their community and what it is they have managed to build and achieve for themselves. This person has pride in what they do. They're also damn good at it, right? They have the insistence here, oh, I can make any foundation I want, you know? There's the inspiration there. It feels like a particular calling. Okay, it's like your energy's coming forward to kind of meet you where it is that you want to be in this life, and it does seem to be happening in a very realistic way. I'm not getting anything too specific off of that other than that's fantastic. So that's great. And it's very vague. It's like, oh, Aquarius, you will have it all. I don't say that. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is that uh, your energy is looking very complete. Okay. And it does look like there is something being presented to you in terms of uh, newness, but solidity. And you yourself, okay, if you're indeed the Empress, I can't say I'm surprised that you have accumulated or working towards your Ten of Pentacles, your long-lasting uh, foundation, your long-lasting legacy, that kind of thing. And you feel like you are called to it and that you have been called to it, yes? Show me that Knight of Wands, please. Show me that Knight of Wands. Show me that Knight of Wands. Now let's see if there's someone zipping on over to you, to because it, it does look like it's headed towards you. King of Cups. Water sign, of course. There they are again. Nine of Pentacles. Someone who has that sense of a very strong heart and very strong sense of individuation. Yeah. Well, that's a lovely pair. Huh. Okay, okay. Spirit will get to it. Show me that Knight of Wands, please. Show me that Knight of Wands. Let me see if they're any good for you, honey, because it looks like you're packing a lot, you know? Show me that Knight of Wands, please. Show me that Knight of Wands. Show me that Knight of Wands. I might have to pull something. Six of Swords. King of Swords. Knight of Wands. There it is again. Wow. They're not fooling around. Um, wow. Transition. Someone who's in a transition mode. They've made a certain level of determination. That's a lot of fire, honey. Knight of Wands. It could be a relocation thing. But the enthusiasm is here. The enthusiasm is here. Someone has a very strong... It could be a fellow Aquarian, too. Wow. 
That's a lot of heat they're packing, honey. You seem to be gravitating towards the Ace of Wands anyway. The idea of solidity and I know myself, okay, and I'm doing very well, I'm very protective, right? Ace of Wands. It's kind of like saying, I'm open for business, and honey, somebody's, somebody's making good on that sign. <laughs> Wow, a lot of determination here. It does look like they're in this sort of to and fro process. I'm not saying the Six of Swords is exiting. I'm seeing it as coming and going. Uh, not as in terms of hot and cold or coming and going. What I'm saying is it looks transitional to me in terms of time and or space, movement, um, travel, that kind of thing. I don't quite know. Some of that Nine of Pentacles. Maybe I'll get more here. Some of that Nine. Some of that Nine of Pentacles, please. Strong mind. Strong determination. Show me that Nine of Pentacles, please. That's fascinating. The Hermit. Eight of Wands, the communication. Has. There's the communication. Hermit. Twice. It feels right. There's a growing appreciation for this energy. The communication is here. I don't quite know who you're talking to, but they have that sense of, uh, I am capable. Okay, I'm single, I'm free, I'm independent, I have a strong mind, and they have, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of energy. Don't get me wrong about that, that Knight of Wands. Somebody who has a great deal of internal energy, say like I do, I pull the Knight of Wands all the time. Unfortunately, because of really bad tarot on YouTube, everybody defaults to sexual energy. It's not true. This person actually has a very strong mind. Uh, they might be highly intelligent. They have an energy that suggests transitional. Six of Swords, they might be traveling relatively soon, coming back from something or possibly relocating. Um, and they have a strong sense of determination. And they back everything they do up with a hell of amount of energy. Uh, this person, whoo, I mean, they got energy behind them and their decision making. So it's kind of like what I decide, I can back it up. And uh, here's the thing, you seem to be responding well to it. You do seem to be responding well to it. Nine of Pentacles, you like how this person's kind of independent, free. They act in accordance with themselves. They answer to themselves. I see you talking to them. The part of you that's back here in the Hermit is responding well to this. Because you're seeing it, you're seeing this communication, you're seeing this connection as something that feels healthy. Okay. Um, There's something that feels right and easy and fluid. Okay. There's that big part of you that respects your healing and sense of self that sees the healthiness in this person and you're responding. I see you talking to them. It's interesting. You had your hermit out here to deal with what looked like um, a connection that might have been strong but was not petering out in the love department. There was too much confusion about are we developing something here or not? Do, do we have feelings here or not? Do I mean anything to you or not? It's kind of like that, but that same hermit that recognized the problem here and needing to recover from it, the same hermit's recognizing the healthiness of this connection. It's like you like that this person's independent. You like that they can speak for themselves. You like that they communicate with you. You like that they have all this energy because it kind of reflects back on you, doesn't it? Um, look at that. Because they're showing me Nine of Pentacles, you're showing me Ten of Pentacles. So you both have that sense of stability, foundation, get it done, right? Um... And you actually are, judgment, being called towards something that reflects your fire. Your own sense of intensity. Your own sense of ambition and passion. That's part of you. That's not incidental. It's like you are pulling forward someone that has a similar frequency. And it's quite beautiful. I like it. I do. I like it. Things are lining up very well. It's like, this is someone I can have in reality, but also, P.S., I'm very excited by them. They turn me on, and there doesn't seem to be any confusion about intentions. Because we have not just attention, but intentions. Do you know the difference? Intentions are someone is someone who plans, sticks to the plans. I got plans for us. I want to be part of it. 
I want to show consistency towards it. That's intention, okay? Attention says, I'm happy to sit with you right now and get some sweet attention from you or sexy attention from you. But then as soon as you're out of my vision, I forget about you. That's the difference between attention and intention. Intention has purpose. Attention satisfies the moment. So what this was, that was the whole question of intensity versus intention. Yes, there was intensity here, but there was no intention behind it. This says intention plus attention. And I, it's real energy. It's living in the moment, and it's trying to live in the moment with you, and it's not a struggle at all. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Yes, we're going to switch now. Show me this Knight of Pentacles. It's quite lovely. Yeah, you know, we could all redo with that lesson sometimes, of attention versus intention. You know, it's like, uh, I know this feels good in the moment, but it um, doesn't really carry over after the moment, does it? There's no plans, or there's plans not kept in place, that kind of thing. I don't see the goal here. We're still arguing about basic shit. Nah. Might be a strong connection, but nah. Right? Nah. Let's do it. Show me that Knight of Pentacles. Yes. Oh, straight away. Oh. There it is again. Again, you might have some very strong Virgo in your chart. Could very well be connecting to one. I am seeing it more as a reflection on you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Show me that Knight of Pentacles, please. Man, your intuition must be on point with this person. There doesn't seem to be any confusion about this whatsoever. Excellent. Show me that Knight of Pentacles, please. Show me that Knight of Pentacles. Show me that Knight of Pentacles. Oh, one more. One more. I'm feeling it. Show me that Knight of Pentacles, please. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know? Wow. Aquarius, everything's. I, I was shocked. I'm under 30 minutes. What? <laughs> Queen of Swords. That's a shock for me. I don't know about you, but that's a shock for me. There it is. There it is. Three Swords. Twice. Queen of Swords. That's you. King of Wands, you are literally feeling better about the pain. It took you a while to get back to you, but you got in there, okay? Um, yes, you went through a very strong, this is about me, kind of focus energy, but I can kind of see where you came from. I don't know if this kind of focus on the self caused the damage. I don't quite see it that way, okay? Um, it, it doesn't come across that way. It's It, it, it does come across more as... It took me a while to get here, but I understand what's important to me. Because the hermit's looking at these activities. It, I know. The Knights of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Three of Swords, the King of Wands. You literally feel better about the pain in your heart. Okay? And you, your confidence rises. Okay? So the King and Queen of Wands, they're all about that lovely, lovely confidence. It surpasses the Six of Wands by miles. Okay, say, I got this, right? Queen of Swords, intellectually, you know that this took as long as it did for a reason. And as you continue to traverse this particular path, no matter how slow, this is not slow at all. It isn't. It's developing rather quickly. But in terms of the pain, it's going to start easing phenomenally. Okay, trust the process. I've been having to say that more and more lately because it's really hard for people to trust the process and changes, you know? as they come in. Show me that uh, truths. Accepting truths. God knows, honey. God knows. You know, I have to get on Scorpio's ass all the time. You know the truth of it. Your feelings might de be deep and intense, but that doesn't uh, take away reality, does it? You know, we cannot forsake reality. The feeling is there, but so too is the reality. One has to win, you know. One has to win. Hmm. One has to win. So again, the difference between attention and intention. And you have to make choices based in reality, not your feelings. Because let me tell you, as strong as our feelings might be, honey, we can get lost in them too. And kind of forsake our intelligence. Okay. 
what we know. Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. There it is again, the Ten of Wands. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize. Again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm just saying more of the same. You are learning things about abandonment, being left behind, having to move forward. Okay. It's Nine of Cups, and through this process that is still with you, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. I don't want that to discourage you. I'm saying this largely as an internal process. Just please know that as you continue to work through that pain and you continue to gain confidence, you're going to understand what that Five of Pentacles was about. You're going to understand what the breakup was about. You're going to understand what the abandonment was about. I don't know who did the deed. I just know that you're part of it. Okay. It was a long winding road, and it doesn't always feel good, okay? But there is someone in here with you that makes you feel kind of confident again. Do be mindful of those Nine of Cups. You worked very hard to re-explore them, okay? It, okay, I, I grant you, it might have been a little bit on the selfish side, but it's what you had to do, okay? So try not to get out of touch with your pleasure systems again. Okay, because I do see you for some reason going through a busy period, and I strongly suspect it has to do with this Ace of Pentacles. So, let's, speaking of which, let's talk about it. Uh, there's a couple things happening at the same time here. Show me this Ace of Pentacles, please. It does look like a new job offer. Okay, I'm leaning towards that because I see this relationship developing the way that it is. So, this Ace of Pentacles, then, I am seeing you kind of forsaking your personal sense of pleasure to kind of accommodate what looks like a new strain in your energy, but it's coming under the guise of a new offer. Um, and also in the general sense, I'm not worried about your Three of Swords because it's looking like you're telling me with some confidence that you're over it. You're over it. Okay, some of that Ace of Pentacles, please. I just, this is, I keep coming back to this. I have to say, for some of you, yes, it is the reverse. I have to. I have to. I'm obligated to. I apologize. I keep getting hit with that lens. And it, I keep getting hit with that particular lens. I see you going back to what matters to you, neglected stuff, in order for you to heal from whatever this is. But I also see the accusation running the other way, Aquarius. And I know that there will be plenty of cross watchers who are going to start screaming, yes, yes, it's the reverse, it's the reverse. Control yourself. Okay? I don't like sign bashing, and I don't like extreme negativity. By all means, express yourself, but do keep in mind tarot is more than just about you. The same firmness and or happiness or whatever I would show Aquarius is the same for your sign. So, Aquarius, from that perspective, realistically, yes, I see the main line. But for some of you, there is this idea that we focused on the self so much, okay? A little bit too much about what makes us happy that we neglected this strong connection and they were kind of left for want. I don't... Aquarius always focuses on themselves and what makes them happy. I don't know where I stand with Aquarius. And that would explain why the hermit's turning his back towards this connection because we were focusing on the self. So the love for the situation might have got lost in translation. That's for some of you, not all of you. Okay? So take it resonates if it does not. I'm seeing it more like a 70-30 kind of split. Okay? The 30% is that interpretation. Where we focused a little bit too much on the self and what makes us happy and we only took action towards our own regards and our own pleasures and our own respect of uh, movement, activity, and what works for us. Perhaps you were not in a position then to give the energy that this connection needed, and that's why there's so much tension and or strain attached to it, because I keep hearing, I don't know what you feel for me. What are we doing? That's for some of you. For others of you, because there was so much strain in this connection about the same argument that hasn't changed, I don't know where I stand with you, I don't know what you're feeling for me. That you went back and reflected on what was important to you. So it works both ways. You have to keep in mind with tarot, energy can move this way as well as this way. Okay. That's it. That's enough. All right. 
I'm sorry, I do feel obligated to report things. Um, it is part of my job, and it's also one of the things that lends me credibility as a legit tarot reader, you know. We'll do the real shit, right? Ace of Pentacles. Now, it does look like, yes, as you continue to recover from heart pain of the past, your confidence increases. You do seem to be slacking off on that Nine of Cups, the stuff that you got reoriented with. Um, you are processing the abandonment thing. The five Again, it, I, I don't know which way. It doesn't matter. I still see you kind of processing it. But then your energy also kind of spikes with what looks like a new burden. So let's take a look at that. Show me that Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> Show me that Ace of Pentacles, please, for Aquarius. Strength. No, there's your action again. That's where your energy is going. Uh, three of Cups. It looks like you are trying to bring together what looks like new energy, celebrations. I don't quite see it as a personal connection. It doesn't look like that to me. Uh, the way you're being so busy and it's requiring you strength, it looks like you're kicking off some new activity that immediately presents itself as a strain. It's okay. Um, it's looking like you're trying to manage it. It's kind of like, I got to do this. This is my task. So that strength is behind that Knight of Swords. That means I'm not playing around. I'm trying to get stuff done. Um, there's the Three of Cups. There's some here about responsibility in bringing things together. So if I'm looking at this from a career point of view, and that's exactly how I'm interpreting this, it's like it's my responsibility with strength and diligence to bring stuff together. I'm working towards that. Okay, so I got someone in here with you already that kind of exemplifies what looks like a healthy relationship, a one that's burgeoning, deepening. Um, you seem to be responding well towards it. Okay. I don't see you connecting in that terms of, uh, cause it's already here. No, this is coming across as work. Uh, it's looking like you got a new gig. Congratulations. It's going to occupy a great deal of your upfront energy. I will do a time check on that. Of course, uh, especially if some of you were looking and or expecting. So as soon as I saw 10 of wands and your future orientation was the ace of pentacles and I said, that's work. <laughs> As soon as I saw it, I said, oh, honey, that's work. Uh, Aquarius is about to go through a very strong, busy period, and it does look like it's... So that would explain your slacking off on your Nine of Cups, the stuff that you are so very familiar with that does make you happy. You will be cutting some of that back because you will have much new, stronger work that's coming in. Uh, it's looking like a what you call the learning curve. You sink or swim. I'm jumping in there. My energy is being reserved for this stuff. Okay? Okay, honey. Okay. 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 Let's do some time checks. Yeah. Let's do some time checks. I'm not too terribly curious about this. It does seem to have already happened. Okay. I will. I do. I don't know why, but let, well, that's what it's like to be me. I don't know why I'm about to say this. I don't know why I'm about to do this. Yes, I do. <laughs> that's me too. <laughs> I don't know what. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because I'm being told to. That's how it works. Okay. What am I supposed to see about this past lover type situation? What am I supposed to see about this past lover type situation? What is this? Two of Pentacles. Confusion caused the pain, caused the ending. Ten of Swords. It was done so with strength of will. Uh, so again, I don't know who did the thing. Okay. There was too much confusion. Uh, somebody's immediate reaction was to just show strength and fortitude. Um, two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. It was it was an ending that was probably a long time coming. Okay, things might have deteriorated with that particular person upwards to two years ago. The Hermit, like I said, does take a while. Okay, perhaps you didn't see it coming. Perhaps you didn't see it that way, but somebody did. The second might be important. The tenth. Uh, the 12th, possibly of November, possibly of December, regardless, strength, and then also, yeah, November, I forgot, strength is 11 in this deck, November, for some of you, just in the general sense, 11, 10, 2, 12, oh, 23, anyway, yeah. Okay, that's enough of that. It's just confirmation. It was a long time coming. 
the disagreement was too long-standing or the inattention was too long-standing or the ability to see the problem if the hermit had his back turned to the situation um, you know it, it, it spanned out over too much time okay all right you do have intuition about the Ace of Pentacles like you knew it was coming. Okay, very good. I do see you as the Empress. I'm excited about my new... There's a new foundation here. You're excited for the new opportunity of coin. That's all I have, really. Um, you see it as your new calling, literally coming in as new calling, but can give to my foundation. So that's a lot of powerful energy. I hope that's true. You seem to really gravitate towards it and say that's mine. Oh, good. Very good. I want you to claim it. Um, now this King of Swords, two Knights of Wands, Six of Swords is interesting. Uh, six of Wands. The Six for this person, with you, about them. The Sixth might be important, the Fifth might be important, and then also the Eleventh. Can I get more on this King of Swords, please? The Ace of Pentacles for some of you marks the world as one door closes, another opens. So, there you go. The Ace of Pentacles marks this time frame. Okay. Show me that King of Swords, please. Show me that King of Swords. Show me that King of Swords. Show me that King of Swords, please. Page of Wands. Page of Cups, I got two people talking here. Okay, it might be a work construct thing with the Eight of Pentacles. It could, ooh, ooh, ooh. emphasis on that Nine of Cups, okay. It might be a work type situation where you connect with this person at work. Um, it does look very exciting. We're starting to talk with this person rapidly. So while you're in transit, uh, if you associate with your new work with travel or they do, that might be the connection point or connectivity between you two is what starts as a working construct because I have two pages talking together trying to work through a common goal so again ie literally could be work um, but yeah they're pretty solid their energy is looking pretty solid pretty determined a little hard-headed that's okay uh, they're terribly intelligent but they have a lot of passion behind what they do okay a lot of energy so that is incoming I'm not entirely convinced you've met this person yet it's looking like in the excitement and the judgment of meeting our calling to the new foundation, whatever that is, we start working with this person. Okay? Um, and let's see, when do you get that increase of activity? It's looking like it's right around the corner. It's looking like it's right around the corner. Show me that increase of activity, please. I just It's just December. It's just December. I know it's December. I know it's December. I just, it just... It just feels that way. Uh, yeah, Spirit said yes. Okay, so <laughs> December, I'm sure for some of you, five weeks. Yeah, five weeks. Oh, five weeks from now, which of course puts us in dun, 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 December. For some of you, specifically the 18th of December is when you're really going to be like, holy shit. <laughs> But in five weeks, uh, and then also the 18th might be important to some of you. I don't know that it's necessarily November, but it could be. Oh, okay. Emphasis on the Seven of Cups. The 15th, or as we enter Capricorn season, again December. Okay. The 15th, the 18th, five weeks. Yeah, it's all kind of pointing in that particular direction, I do believe. Okay. Aquarius, is there anything else in here that we need to know? Once more, congratulations to you. This is great. It does have its rough spots, I'll grant you, but then real tarot is real life. Show me. Show me Aquarius, please. Show me Aquarius. Show me Aquarius. Show me Aquarius, please. Uh -uh. Karma, balance, soul ties. Mm. If this must balance out the way it does, then it must balance out the way it does. Sometimes we can harmonize, harmonize those strong connections, other times we cannot. They're meant for us, the lovers' connections. It's a complex bonding system. We're meant to strive for it, achieve it, challenge ourselves to meet it. 
do what we need to do to get it. That doesn't always happen. Okay, renewal, spark, I already saw that right there. I know, you are excited. You are excited. You're gonna need that excitement, honey. It's gonna get busy. Spirits, guides, listen, assistance. It feels like you were given assistance by the universe. Listen to your spirit guides, of course, guarded vulnerability. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes they're gonna feel a little guarded and a little bit vulnerable, but I, I promise you, you're gonna to continue to work through that pain, especially if there was a breakage or an abandonment thing, okay? You're going to feel guarded sometimes and vulnerable, but I do see you working through that regardless. Third eye, getting clarity, using your intuition, of course, uh, but gaining clarity, you know, using your third eye. Mm. Of course. And let's see, anything else? Change, change. Have courage to change, to be part of change, to activate change, to respond to change. When judgment's handing you an ace of wands, Take it. It takes courage to change, you know? And um, there's something about this situation that reflects that as well. It takes courage to change. But that didn't happen. Okay. But in this situation, you know, courage to take charge. Really make good on that Ace of Pentacles. Well done. Okay. Let's do some charms, of course. I'm not shortchanging you. I'm not. I'm not shortchanging you. I'm not. It's just the flow what it was. It is what it is. Go with the flow. I didn't have to dig. <laughs> I didn't have to dig. Oh, for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm kind of known for my hour plus readings. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Okay, Gemini, the coin of Gemini. We also have the intelligence here, okay? So this could be the one of the exiting energies that is Gemini's power card, of course, but does not have to be. It could be one of your entering energies. You might have some very strong Gemini in your chart, in which case it shows or personifies really that uh, duality of mind, but flexibility of mind. Um, but also, again, intelligence. And I saw that dead center reading with that King of Swords figure, someone who is highly intelligent. Um, they might have some, again, could straight up be Gemini or uh, it's one of the exiting or it's one of the entry energies for sure. The tree of life, of course, the ten of pentacles, uh, the roots that touch everything. Okay. Our foundation energy, what matters to us. Okay. Beautiful. A. E. Small feminine glasses. Okay. Oh, I usually don't get those. Anything else, please? X, 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 we got the X. Mm. And there it is, matching glasses, his and hers. Does not have to be male, female. It's uh, small, like feminine type reading glasses, big masculine glasses. Okay, and the Eiffel Tower, uh, once more, makes an appearance. Uh, an appearance. Paris, of course, if you are in France, hello to you. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. One day I hope to visit your great city. One of my favorite postcards. Actually, I received several from fans. That's really cool. One day I will go, honey. One day I will go. But uh, in the general sense of things, the height of romanticism, but also one that's built in reality, the Eiffel Tower exists. Okay? And can have everything. And it can be built in reality, too. Okay. That's enough. Did I, was that it? Yep. A-X-E. Okay. Aquarius, this was lovely. Um, I don't, I think the next round should be Celtic Cross. It should be. All right. Um, love to see a continuation of this. Uh, congratulations to you on the new role and or opportunity. You seem to be very excited about it and you do feel like it's meant for you. So you are taking it. Um, congratulations. There is someone else in here that you do seem to enjoy connecting with in a way that's healthy. Um, consistent. This person has a strong mind and a strong sense of independence, but also a great deal of energy. You seem to like that about them. It does help ease the pain in your heart. However, you need to be prepared to make some sacrifices in the future regarding your personal endeavors as your work energy is about to go up like this. It's going to spike kind of hard. Okay. 
and that's okay. I see you rising to meet that particular challenge. Uh, it's like it's my job, kind of what you're saying, to bring this stuff together. I gotta make it happen. You could work in something to do with celebrations, event stuff, avenues. No, what did I say, avenue? Avenues? Avenues, not like street. What am I trying to say? Avenues. Events, of course, that makes sense. Three cups is celebration, after all, in terms of work orientation. Avenues? You have to take many avenues? Yeah, there is a travel component here. And that's, again, where I'm kind of seeing this energy connect. There is a travel component here. There's some miles involved in this. You have to travel several avenues. Venues. Am I trying to say venues? Multiple venues. Oh, you have to go from place to place, but you kind of like that? Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. I don't know. Find it. Follow it. See where it goes. I just know your work's going to get busy. You're going to have to be prepared to kind of sacrifice your kind of personal downtime. All right. Uh, but other than that, there you go. Congratulations to you, Aquarius, honey. You put in the comments as you see fit, and I'll check up on you in a couple of weeks. Take care. Be well.